Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and welcome back to another how to install video. In today's video, we will be looking at installing Bulat Steel Total War, which is a massive overhaul for Medieval 2. This mod features over 500 new units, there's over 200 regions on the campaign map, and there's 30 historical factions, so it truly is a pretty massive overhaul. Now, I had wanted to cover this mod before, but unfortunately the mod was in Russian and the English translation really wasn't that good. But I was recently informed on my last stream that a new version is out as of May 4th, I believe, and that there is a working English translation. So I feel that it is the right time to show you guys how to install this mod. Now, the English translation isn't fully complete, as you will see when I walk you through some of the uh, campaign at the end of the video, but it's much better than it used to be. So let's go ahead and dive in on uh, how to install Bullet Steel Total War. But uh, all you have to do is go to moddb.com, that's where I usually show you guys how to install all of the mods, and just start typing in Bulat Steel, and it should be the first one to pop up here. And if we go down to the Files tab, uh, you can see that, yes, on May 4th of this year, there was the new version released. So we're going to uh, open this in a new tab. And then we're also going to go over to Articles, because that's where the uh, English translation is. You can see it was posted on the same day, and it is for the same version. So we're going to need both of those. So we'll open them up in a new tab. And we're going to scroll down here and hit download now on this one. You'll see that the file size for the main Bulat Steel uh, folder or the main uh, mod is actually very very small it's only 48 kilobits that's because the mod actually wasn't up, uh, uploaded to mod db directly it was uploaded to utorrent so uh, i'll get into that in just a second let's go ahead and come over to the english translation and that is a google drive link which we're, go we're just going to click on that and then we can hit uh, download so that way we will have the uh, english translations there as well and there we go, perfect. So we can close that now, which is good. So this is what you're going to need. So you're going to need uTorrent to download this. I'll show you in a second uh, where the link is for that. But just go ahead and click U, uh, download uTorrent web here. And then of course, if you guys don't have WinRare, you're also going to need WinRare as well. So here is the uh, Windows version for 64 and 32 bit. So you're gonna need both of these downloaded before you go any further. So go ahead and pause the video here if you need to and uh, get uTorrent downloaded. This is what it's going to look like uh, when you open it up for the first time. But I'm gonna go ahead and close both of those because I already have them. And then I can close the uh, Bulat Steel Total War as well because I don't need that. And now we're going to go into our downloads folder here. And you'll see that we have the two downloads uh, with the correct file sizes. You'll remember that the main one was only 49 kilobits. It's basically just because it's a link to that uh, uTorrent. So we're just gonna hit X on here, open it up. And here's the readme, so you can open that up. It has some general installation instructions, but here is the uh, torrent file. So if you double click on that, it should open up uTorrent automatically and Yes, just have make sure that it drops into your downloads folder. So it'll be C uh, users and then whatever your PC name is and then download and then hit OK. And this is going to take quite some time. As you can see, it's 11.6 gigabytes. So obviously I'm going to pause the video here until this is finished downloading. But uh, in the meantime, uh, you guys can download WinRare uh, if you haven't already. Actually, you'll probably have already needed WinRare to open the file in the first place. But um, the only other thing that's in there is the 4 gigabyte patch. However, we'll cover that towards the end of the video. So all you need to do at this point is to have had the uh, English translations downloaded and the, uh, the archive file that's 49 kilobits. You can see this is the uTorrent file that's already being downloaded. But it, as I said, it will take some time depending on how fast your uh, internet provider is. So I'm going to make a little pause here and then I'll bring it back to you when this file is almost done downloading. All right, guys, welcome back. And as you can see, we have the file downloaded in its entirety, 11.6 gigabytes. So we can go ahead and close uTorrent now because it should have ended up in our downloads folder. As you can see, it's right here. And when we double click on it, we should have the Bulat Steel folder. So this is the folder that's going to have to move over into the mods folder from Medieval 2 Total War. So let's just go ahead and hit Extract 2. And I have my Medieval 2 installed on my G drive, as many of you guys know, but for those of you that are Steam users, your pathway is going to be local C, program files 86, 
down to Steam, and then Steam Apps, Common, and then this is where your uh, medieval tube will show up. It should be in this general area. For non-Steam users, it's going to be Local C, Program Files 86, Sega, Medieval 2, and then Mods. But for me, it's uh, on my G Drive just because it's a little bit bigger. Uh, and then same pathway, Steam Apps, Common, down to uh, Medieval 2 Total War. There it is. And then just click on Mods. And then double check up here that it's correct and hit OK. And this will also take a little bit of time because it is a pretty massive mod, so it'll probably take about five to six minutes for this to happen. So I'm just going to make another small cut here and I'll bring it back to you once this is just about complete. Alright guys, so there we go. We finally installed this folder into our mods folder and you can see it right here. So what I want you guys to do before we close this out is just open both of these and make sure that they match. Make sure that there's nothing missing in this folder. If there is anything missing in the Bulat Steel Total War fol uh, folder from the uh, extraction, then you'll have to just go through this process again. Maybe there was a hiccup somewhere. But as long as all of this is the same, we are good to go with that portion. So now all we need to do is do the 4 gigabyte patch and also install the English translations. But the English translations in the 4 gigabyte patch are quite easy to do. So let's do the English translations first. So double clicking on that, we've got the English translation folder here. So we just have to go into the folder and then we need these three to go into the Bulat Steel Total War folder. So again, let's just extract it to the Medieval 2 Mods folder. So Steam Games, Steam Apps, Common, down towards uh, Medieval 2 Total War and click on mods and it should ask you to replace the files we need this to happen otherwise you're installing it in the incorrect spot so just hit yes to all and that was very fast that is done and then the last thing we need to do is we need to go into the uh, bullet steel folder and we need to do the four gigabyte patch so just double click on this and then it's going to bring into you into your Medieval 2 Total War folder. So we need to do the four gigabyte patch on the Medieval 2 EXE and also on the Kingdoms EXE. So I'm just gonna hit open on the Medieval 2 EXE first. And it says uh, executable successfully patched. Okay, and then just open it back up again. And do the same with the Kingdoms.exe. Executable successfully patched, so we are done. So we just have to uh, move back, and you've got your um, setup exe. So if you open this, this is where you can actually choose a lot of the settings, uh, very similar to Stainless Steel Total War, and then this uh, Bulat Steel Launcher. This is the one to actually launch the game. So I'm just going to switch over my recording software, and I'll see you guys once we're inside Bulat Steel Total War. Alright guys, welcome to Bulat Steel 2.1.5. You can see we have the correct version from the insignia here in the center of the screen. And as you can also see, all of the menu buttons have been translated to English, whereas before they were all in Russian. And if you guys remember from the very beginning of the video, I said that the English translation wasn't completely done. And this is what I mean. So we do have all the factions here. I love the emblems, and there is a good array of factions to choose from. However, all of the faction names are still in Russian, as well as their descriptions. So it's kind of difficult to tell which faction you're playing. It also also doesn't show you on the map which faction you are either but one hint you can take from it is just looking at the flag so you can see that this looks very Castile or Kingdom of Leon and also if you look at the victory conditions which have been changed over into English uh, you can see you know you have to hold Leon Castile so that's probably a Spanish faction uh, this is Scotland here uh, easy ones like England or sorry uh, England France and the Holy Roman Empire we also have the Welsh, I would assume, here. And uh, we have uh, the Byzantine Empire. That's probably Poland, Portugal. So yeah, just have to piece those things together. But all of the main things are in English now, whereas when I loaded into it before, all of this was in Russian. So it was very hard to tell uh, what was what. But let's go ahead and just jump into a campaign as England and prove to you guys that it works. And 
there we go, successfully loaded into the campaign map, and we all have, or sorry, we have this big description here about any of the changes that have happened in the campaign, so um, I'll let you guys read that on your own time, but the big thing is, is that it is in English, which is excellent. And the only other thing that I have issues with as far as the English translation is the names of the characters. So they are still in Russian. At least though you can see that it is a diplomat when you click on it. You know this one is a spy it shows you and I think uh, this guy is a merchant so it's still easy enough to follow but uh, all of the characters have uh, Russian names. Every single one of them. But, you know, it's a, it's a small problem. Now, all of the cities are in English. You can see that the different buildings are in English, so you know exactly what you're building. And also, the units as well as their descriptions are all in English as well. So, let's go ahead and just jump into a quick battle. There's usually Hail a good battle king. up by York. With honor. Hail so, let's just king. grab everyone that we can Sorry. here. Assembling Let's do a, a couple, mighty host of your troops. More, uh, buildings really Hail quickly. My king. Hail my king. Grab some Assembling more of these guys. Of your That's troops, good. Sire. That's good. Hail uh, my king. Maybe throw Hail this guy into king. York so that they're a little happier. Hail my king. Nottingham. We got some really awesome dismounted Norman knights. Like, I'm actually interested in probably doing a stream on this. I'll, I'll play through and see how stable it is. I did test this on my own time and got to turn 35 Hail without a king. crash, so that is pretty impressive. So I'll maybe Hail play my on king. my own time and see how far I can get. And if it's quite stable, maybe we'll do a stream in this. We have something for you. Uh, nope, I'm gonna attack you, Scotland. Very Sorry. Well. Farewell then. And there we go, We've got through the first turn, no crashes Hail there. Let's go ahead and attack Scotland By here. Will, sire, we shall engage. That's Thanks good, uh, they do have sire. some reinforcements there, but we that should be fine. Siege, uh, let's just build a couple more things, just just because. Uh, we'll get that. Oh wow, that is a big army. Oh. <laughs> Uh, but it, I'm not actually playing this. I just want to load into the battle to show you guys that it doesn't crash. So, uh, onwards to our deaths, I suppose. Glory to your name, sire. We attack. And there we go, successfully loaded into the battle. So that pretty much is it, guys. So hopefully it was helpful for you. And uh, like I said, I wasn't really interested in covering it before just because it was all in Russian, but now the playability is definitely there uh, due to the fact that we have the uh, English translations. But yeah, we're definitely going to lose this, but um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this how to install. If you have any issues at all, just leave a comment down below and I will try and help you out to the best of my abilities. And also there is a fantastic soundtrack with this mod as well. Uh, I just have it muted for uh, possible copyright infringement, but uh, don't think that there isn't any music to go along with this fantastic campaign, because it definitely has an awesome soundtrack. But that wraps it up, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.